सिस्टम कॉपी एंड सिस्टम रिफ्रेश कैन वी सी प्रैक्टिकली सिस्टम कॉपी आई विल टेल यू प्रैक्टिकली सिस्टम रिफ्रेश आई विल शो यू हाउ टू टेक अ बैकअप्स एंड ऑल द थिंग्स हाउ टू जनरेट अ कंट्रोल फाइल एंड हाउ टू एडिट एंड हाउ टू डू अ रीस्टोर ओके ओके विद ओरेकल डेटाबेस हाय बाला टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एसपी अपग्रेड व्हाट इज एसपी व्हाट इज एब्रेशन enhancement package in which versions we have a esp see we have a version ecc 5.0 yes have you heard yeah. this number yeah and after ECC. that ecc 6.0 right after ecc 6.0 there is no ecc 7 right next we will right it is not released so sap has been released enhancement packages in ecc 6.0 that is esp1 ecc 6.0 esp2 like that ESP three up to latest one ESP eight. Okay. ECC six point zero with ESP eight. Okay. After ECC 6.0, SAP has not released ECC 7.0. SAP has released enhancement packages wise. The new versions are re released with enhancement packages wise. That enhancement packages we call it as a ESP1, ESP2, ESP3, ESP4 up to ESP8. So this ESP comes with ECC 6.0 version only. Okay, ECC six, ESP one, ECC six, ESP two. Okay, for example, if your current version is ECC six point zero, ESP one. Okay, and my target is ECC six point zero, ESP three. So this is called ESP upgrade. Got it? Yeah. If if version is Netweaver, then come to Netweaver. In Netweaver, we have a version 7.0, 7.1, up to 7.8. and my current version is let me over shortcut we we will write nw okay nw 7.0 and my target version is let me over 7.3 this call let me over upgrade okay any doubts here
This is called version upgrade also. This is called version upgrade also. Our version has been changed right here, 7.0 to 7.3. This version upgrade. This is called version upgrade. This is called enhancement package upgrade, ESP upgrade. What is meant by stack upgrade? In the same version, we are upgrading the stack patch level from one level to another level. That is called stack level, stack upgrade. Means, I am in 6.0, ESP1. My stack level is 10. I want to upgrade stack level is 15. So I am in same version, EC6 EHP1 only. Just I am upgrading my patch level 10 to patch level 15. That's it. This is called stack upgrade. Got it? This is called version upgrade. This is called EHP upgrade. Got my point? Okay, now, now I want to see the compatibility of my target version. I want to see my compatibility, <coughs> whether I can go for upgrade ESP1 to ESP3 or not. What is the compatibility I required? whether operating system wise or database wise, what type of compatibility I want, I required. If I want to go to the target version, where I can check this compatibility? In product availability matrix, PAM, right? I think I shown last how to see the compatibility. This is PAM, Product Availability Matrix. This is six point zero.
Related product versions. We want ESP one, ESP two, ESP three, right? ESP1, ERP 6.0. ERP 6.0 or ECC 6.0, okay? Both are same. Related product versions. See here, this is my current version, ESP1, ERP 6.0. From this version to, from where I can go to, upgrade to, the target, I can go to ESP2, ESP3, ESP4, ESP5, ESP6, ESP7, right? S4 HANA, S4 HANA on premises. These are my available target versions. Got my point? You can go directly to this version or we need to upgrade all the versions. No, no, you can go to upgrade it to any one version. Any one of these version is compatible. You are getting my point? Yes. So we you can, can go ESP for ESP2 to directly ESP10. Come again? We can go directly from ESP2 to ESP7 like this? Yes. If it is showing compatible here, see my target is ESP1, <coughs> I can go to ESP2 or I can go to ESP3 or I can go for ESP4. Any one of target I can go here. Any one is compatible. Upgraded to it is showing <coughs> so many target release versions, correct? I can go for any one target version. Okay. If you are ESP5, current version, then you can upgrade it to ESP6, ESP7, ESP8. Okay? And how can we know that mm, other components like OS level, some support points will be there, like kernel version? Operating system, operating system, here we can know database platforms we can know here see 
ESP5 ABAP stack and your database version DB2 operating system and how much kernel is required this is the released version status here you can see select your database Oracle for example 64 bit and select your operating system here Linux x64 bit so based on your Oracle database based on your operating system Linux it will show you the compatible versions how much Oracle version you required and which operating system is required and how much kernel version is required my point here select your database and select your operating system based on that it will show you the selected operating system versions selected database versions supported versions these are the supported versions and how my, what is the current uh, sorry what is the kernel version is required this is the kernel version so here we can able to see the database supported release version operating system supported release version as well as the kernel supported release version also kernel operating system and database in pim we can check the database database and uh, oracle uh, sorry uh, operating system and kernel got it can we uh, what about sap router we also is the right sap router sorry sap router sap router sap router is used to connect our systems to the service marketplace and SAP team can connect to our systems through the SAP router. Yeah, uh, that one we can upgrade directly or? SAP router upgrade you are talking? Yes. That is we can directly upgrade it. It's not a problem. So we that have any like kernel version in there? Yes, definitely. SAP router is there, is there a kernel file will be there. Or in some normal SAP kernel base kernel is there, right? We can see this place work. For SAP router also we have a kernel. It's a normal kernel, SAP kernel. Whenever we install SAP, it will uh, come with uh, some base version, right? Kernel version. Yes, yes. Yeah, the same version, the same SAP kernel. It will come with SAP router. And now I want to know one thing. For SAP router, uh -huh. uh, just uh, we need to upgrade VCC, VC plus, VC plus plus file is there, right? For Windows, uh, Windows file. Ah, yes, VC plus plus files, yes. Yeah, uh, we need to upgrade the VCPS file from 2005 to 2013. Okay. So for that, I need to find out supported SAP router also. Our uh, supported patch will patch. Okay. Yeah, how can I Here we need to upgrade VC VC plus plus file. For that we need supported SAP router patch or supported router version, new version. Okay. I will let you know tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow class we will discuss. Thank you. VC plus plus 2005 to 2013, right? 
Yeah. We we have 2005 right now. After installing 2005, SAP router is not getting up. Okay. Again, we reinstalled 2005. Now it's working. Okay. So we need to update the router is not uh, starting. Yeah, services is not starting. Okay, then. Then again, we reinstall the old file 2005. So now it's working normal. Again, what you have done? I we reinstalled 2005. Okay. So now it's working normal. Now it is working. Yeah. Why previously is uh, not working? Previously also you have installed 2005 only, right? Yeah, 2005 only. But we need to upgrade this one, 2005 to 2013 or 2010. Because 2005 is old version. Okay. Because Did you upgrade it or not? No, we upgraded. Already installed 2008. 2000? 2010 and 2013, both the versions are there in my system, already installed. Okay. Yeah, then also it's not working. So after that it is working? Yeah, after, oh no, it's working with only 2005 only. No, Bala, your question is not clear to me. See, first you have installed it 2005, you are facing issues yeah. in the SAP router. After that, you no, have no, installed. No. We are not facing. We are not facing any SAP router. Here okay. we got security find out. 2005 is the old version. We need to upgrade. So okay. We did 2010 and 2013 also. Okay. Okay. So after uninstalling 2005, SAP router service is not coming up. Okay. So again, we install 2005 because I find in SAP note we need to use only 2005. Okay. So, but my request is we need to uh, go for 2000 higher version, 2010 or 2013. Okay. So for that supported SAP router patch level or something. How to why it's not working and what to do here. Okay, we'll see tomorrow, okay? So this is the procedure to check the compatibility in PIM, product availability matrix. Okay. Now, what is the pre steps we required? For example, ERP. 6.0 ESP 1 to ESP 3. This is a target. Okay. With Oracle database Linux operating system. Okay. Here, the first step is table spaces. If any table space is more than 95% utilization is there, for example, more than 95% utilization, then add data files. The utilization should be come down up to 90%. The utilization should be come down up to 90%. Why? Because whenever we are upgrading 
ESP 1 to ESP 3, the table spaces sizes will also be increased. Okay. If my table space is full, if my table space is full, if uh, table space size is full, 100% full at the time of ESP upgrade, then our upgrade will be hanged due to space issues, right? So that purpose, because there's a pre prerequisite step, uh, table space size is a mandatory, we need to cross check. Whether the table space size, any table space size is more than 95%, then we need to add some data files. And better it should be come down 90% uh, utilization. And file system sizes. File system sizes means where? At OS level, right? At OS level. What type of file system sizes we need to check? We need to check these file system sizes of SAP related and database related file systems like USR SAP SID, USR SAP Trans, USR SAP SID, USR SAP Trans, and all database related like SAP Data 1, Data 2, Data 3, Data 4, ORARC. <coughs> SAP ARC, Oracle SID. So these file system sizes we need to cross check. If it is any file system size is more than 99% or 99% is utilization is there, then we need to add some space to that file systems. Okay. And create a file system for software download I need to download the software right so create a file system like slash software with how much at least 100 GB free space Who will create this slash software file system with 100 GB free space? Who will create? OS team will create. And create file system for some tool slash sum with this is also we required. 100 GB free space. Who will create this? Our OS team. Okay. And before starting, the pre step is run DB stats. Database statistics run DB stats. How I can run? using db13 t code or using db13 t code or using br tools at os level we can run the db stats okay table space sizes and operating system level file system sizes and create temporary uh, file systems to store my software and to store my sum and run database statistics these are the main pre steps for ESP upgrade okay now the major point is how I can download the target software version how I can download How I can download through maintenance planner through maintenance planner I can download 
before download through maintenance planner what steps we required we required for example we are doing for uh, dev system okay we are doing ESP upgrade for dev system so dev system should connect connect to my soulman system through lmdb t code okay who will perform this soulman team it should be connect and sync the dev system should connect and sync to my solution manager system through lmdb3 t code who will perform this action soulman team can perform this action once this has been done then only i can download the required software through maintenance planner through maintenance planner where i can open a maintenance planner go to google sap maintenance planner access maintenance planner once the system has been connected and synced to my solution manager system then i can download required target software through maintenance planner so whenever you are logging to the maintenance planner it will ask you the s user id credentials okay we need to provide s user id credentials through that s user id credentials what are the systems sap systems what are the sap systems are connected to my service marketplace those <coughs> system details will be displayed in your maintenance planner those system details will be main, uh, will be see in your maintenance planner what are the systems are connected to my service marketplace through which s user id credentials okay that s user id credentials we need to provide in maintenance planner why because through that user id credentials only what are the systems are connected to my uh, service marketplace those system list i can able to see in my maintenance planner okay see here is already i have connected s user id so that's why I go to the systems Bit 
לא. So once you have given a credentials, SUSID credentials, it will show you the list of systems. The list of systems, how many systems are connected to my service marketplace. It will show you list of systems. In that system, you need to select the EV system. Okay. So this is the screen. It will show you the list of systems. SID and the stack, ABAP stack or Java stack or dual stack. And what is the product version? And which solution manager it has been connected? And what is the verification? Okay. Okay. So these information it will show you. These systems information it will show you. Once we got a list of systems, then you need to select required system. For which system we are doing a EHP upgrade, you need to select that. Select the EV system. Here SID it will show you. Select the EV system. Then it will show you this screen. Second screen. Okay, and what here? Verify and plan. This verify means this line. It should sync to my solution manager system successfully. Once the system, the EV system has been synced to solution manager system successfully, then verify will be a green. Okay, if it is not synced successfully, then verify will be in a red color. If it is in red color, then we need to contact to the solution manager team. Boss, the verification has been not completed successfully. Please perform resync once again. Then they will do <coughs> resync from BEV system to solution manager. Once the resync has been completed successfully, then you can see the in a green color. Once verify is completed, it is in green color. What it means? My DEV system has been synced successfully to my solution manager system. Okay. Then you can select the plan option. The plan option you need to select. Once you select the plan option, then it will show you the, this screen. In this screen, it will show you the current software details of my DEV system. The DEV system, this is SID. Okay. The DEV system related current system details. What is my current system version? What is my current system version? It will show you here. For example, ESP7 ERP 6.0 SP11 or ECC6 ERP 6.0 SPS27 or SAP NetWeaver 7.4 SPS15. So it will show you the current system software details. What is the version? What is the patch level is there? Okay. And this is left side and right side. What it is showing? It is showing some options install add ons or install enhancement packages or upgrade your SAP net river. This is my target. I can select this target based on my requirement. For example, if I want to add, install, uh, if I want to install any add-ons. Add-on means what? Any idea? Bala, Muzaid, what is mean by add-on? I told you at the time of patch upgrade. What is mean by add-on? Another software kind of. Sorry? It's another kind of software, right? No, no, it's not a software. Mm -hmm. No. Component. It's a new component. Yeah. 
the component has been not installed in my DEV system. Okay, I want to install a new component in my DEV system. That new component installation, we call it as an add-on installation. Got my point? Yeah. That add-on installation, how I can perform individually in SAP level with T code? What is the T code to install add-on at SAP level? Mozaid, what is the transaction code to install add-on on my SAP system level? Saint. Yes, Saint is a T code. S A I N T. Saint is a T code to install my add-ons. If I would want to do a patch upgrade, then what is the transaction code? If I want to do a patch upgrade, what is the transaction code? Spam T code, SPAM. Spam is the T code to upgrade my patches, patch upgrades. Okay, so install add-ons. If you, if you, in your requirement, if you, uh, if client said I need some new uh, add-on, new component, I need to install. Then what you need to do? You need to select the add-on. Okay, select the, select this uh, uh, option. Install or maintain add-on. Then it will show you the list of add-on components. What are the list of add-on components that are suitable? Then it will show you the list of add-on components. You need to select the component. Which component you required? You need to select the required component. Okay? And if you want to upgrade your enhancement package, like EHP upgrade, if, I, if you want to do EHP upgrade, then select this option, second option. EHP, install or maintain EHP. Or if you want to do a NetWeaver upgrade, then you need to select the third option, Upgrade NetWeaver. So based on your requirement, you need to select this option, whether you want to install a new add-ons. And for example, my requirement is, I want to do a ESP upgrade, as well as I want to do one component installation also in add-on, as an add-on. So first I need to select this option. I need to select the component and next I need to select the option and I can select the target ESP target assessment package. See if I want to if I selected upgrade SAP NetWeaver, if I if I selected this option, for example, if I selected this option, then it will show you like this. Which one is your target? NetWeaver or or NetWeaver 7.4 if you selected the version if you selected this version then it will show you in this version NetWeaver 7.4 what is the stack level is available latest stack levels available see here if I selected SAP NetWeaver 7.4 I want to upgrade it to NetWeaver 7.4 and if I click here, support, support, support stack level, it is showing 15 and 16. Means 16 is the latest one. Can you go on mute? Can you go on mute? Thank you. So, if I selected, I want to upgrade SAP NetWeaver 7.4, then it will show you the stack level in NetWeaver 7.4, which one is the latest? The latest is 16. Based on your client requirement, you need to select whether I want to go to the latest or latest minus 1. 
you need to take a confirmation from the client whether shall I go to a stack level 16 or stack level 15 stack level 16 is the latest one in NetWave 7.4 okay this is when you selected the third option for example if I selected second option enhancement package then it will show you which EHP 7 is the target and EHP 8 is the target because my current uh, current version is EHP 6 that's why it is showing the target is EHP 7 or EHP 8 EHP 8 is the latest one okay so if you selected EHP 7 in EHP 7 what is the stack level is available 11 12 13 13 is the latest so you need to take a confirmation select, select 13 or 12 you need to take confirmation from client okay once you selected your target here once you selected for example stack level 13 I need I want to go once you selected then click on next here in the same screen in the same screen you will get a next option here okay once you select uh, tell me uh, in stack level if you're doing only stack mm -hmm. upgrade okay now we are no no we are not level. in stack upgrade see no, in case i want in case i'm asking in case uh, tell me in case if you are doing stack upgrade we, our current version is 5 mm. okay Available version is 12. Can we go directly 12 or we need to upgrade 6, 7, 8, 1, 2? Come again. So our current version is 5. Okay. Stack level 5. Avail yeah. Available version is 12. Hmm. So we need, we can go directly for 11 or 12 or we need to upgrade all the numbers. No, you need to upgrade. You need to download all the files. You need to upgrade at one time. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all five. Yes, yes, yes. You need to download because all to upgrade one time activity. That is one time only. Okay. 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 So once you selected your target version and target stack then come down so this is my target i have selected okay then it will show you the list of uh, components like kernel database okay and sorry not database kernel and list of uh, uh, software components, which software components you want to install, those list of components, which software components are installed in your DEV system, those software components list, it will show you, okay? So like this, it will show you. See, user interface technology is one component. The component terminology name is SAP UI 740. This is recommended, 740. So you 740 I am selecting here. This is my add-on. Okay. And in database, MS SQL Server database, these are the supported kernel versions are there. 745, 749. 749 is the latest one. And which kernel version you required? Which one you which version you required? Select that version. Unicode system or non-unicode system. Okay. And it will show you the host agent also. Host agent. You can see the host agent version at operating system level. Where I can see host layer host agent. Host agent will be installed in a C drive. C drive. SAP host agent folder exe folder okay go to that folder command is sap host exe c
space hyphen version. Then it will show you the version. Okay. So select the host agent and these are the components. SAP IGS is the component. If you expand this, in that, if you expand each and every component, if you expand each and every component, each and every component, it will show you the component name and the version, which version it is going to. It will show you the component name and the version. See, these are the components are installed in my DEV system. So these many components are installed and these are the components are going to my target. Once I have expanded this, in the next screen it will show you download stack XML push to download ba basket. Push to download basket, what it means? What are the target components are selected here? Those software components will be pushed to download basket. Why? Because I can download through SAP download manager. The software are downloaded through download manager. So for that downloading purpose, I need to push all this push to download basket. If you click here, then what will happen? What are the software components are selected here? Those software components will be pushed to download basket. Once this has been done, then I can open my download manager and I can download it the software. Okay, and download stack XML file. This XML file is very, very important for our, our upgrade. Okay, what it contains? This XML file contains what are the software components you have selected here. Those software components information, component name, component versions, source versions, target versions, the information all these software component source and target version information will be stored into my xml file and what is the use of xml file whenever i am doing a ehp upgrade through some tool whenever i am doing a upgrade it will ask you xml file only first it will ask you the xml file it will read the xml file based on the information on xml file it will upgrade Okay, so my sum tool will read XML file only. So XML based on XML file, it will calculate all the components from the software location and it will do an upgrade. If your XML file is corrupted, then it will not go to the next step. That is the use of XML file. In the interview, they will ask you, what is the use of XML file for upgrade? Okay. And the remaining concepts, remaining steps will continue tomorrow.